because to, to one trade, it, the milestone might look like one thing, to another trade, it might look like another thing. So we, we have to get into a, a common commonality of here of what is the milestone? What are we, what's it, what's it gonna be when we complete? Um, so then again, so when we talk about this, this milestone generally releases other work. So once we get to that point, then that enables us to do something else. Is that the, is this the last poor day? Let me let me get no, this. So I want to be clear on this milestone. Is that the last poor day? No, that's when the overhangs are finished being stripped. That's stripped overhang. Okay, yeah. that's the key thing there. I think, I think for this project, you treat it all as one bridge, but it's two separate bridge spans. Actually, you have two big ones around one floor. Okay, is this what we have? Eight to three and three to nine? Yeah. We've got two chunks. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so this is another big part of this of the pool planning process. This starts, I mean, remember yesterday we talked about constraints. Those are those icebergs that we're looking for, right? We want to identify those. And so as we start this process, we want to capture our constraints as we go through here. So what I heard was, and correct me if I'm wrong, that we have to figure out what the safety is going to be after we strip. And we're not going to solve that today, but we just don't want to, we don't want to forget about that, and that's going to be on our plate. This is our homework. We've got to determine the sequence in which the work takes place. And uh, this is going from what happens first all the way to, to the end. You know, I, now this is different than what we did yesterday when we full planned, where we started with the end in mind and we work back. First of all, we got to know what the sequence is before we can do that. So this is where we all have to work together to agree on what that sequence scene is. We're going to number these just to, to ensure that we're where we're supposed to be in the sequence. Okay? We'll let, we'll let the company and the person who's going to fill that in this room today is going to fill out the sticky note. Okay. So if there was a sub up there, say there was a hydro blasting sub or a painter or somebody that's not here today, we'll say it's we'll say that it's ABC painting, but Sean's going to fill out the sticky note for them, okay. and we, we'd write that on there so everybody knows who's doing what when they're filling out the notes. Take your sticky note, you're going to divide it into thirds just like I did up here, and then draw that line down, and this is what goes in each of those blocks. The activity, which is what we listed up here, torque bolts, or install safety lines, or SIP, or install runoffs, that's your activity. Okay, that's, so that's from the from from our list. One, four, two, four, three, or is it span one or span A, span B? Do we want to talk about that now? How do we want to do that? What's what are the areas going to be when we break this down? As far as durations, just say for rebar. This block here is going to be your duration. That's always in days, full day. This is the important one. This is the trigger. This is what triggers you to do that activity. So, and we've already done that for the most part. There may be other triggers, but we said the primary one is over here with the numbering. So if we pick any, any activity on here, say it's number 10, install runoffs. We said the predecessor, the trigger to do the runoffs is what? Let's see if anybody's paying attention. What, what should be the trigger for this? QC check point. Bingo, it's always the one before it. And say that's, that's our milestone. Okay, so what do we need to say that say we've completed the milestone, we've completed the stripping? We've already kind of identified that, that so that's the last activity would be the stripping. So I think that's Jose, right? You, you're stripping? Yeah. Okay, so this is asking for you to say complete stripping. So we need your, your stripping at uh, sticky notes. This is asking for you. So that's the, the five and the three? Yep. Okay. So let me show you how we do this. And we'll, we'll put these side by side because this is an eight-day activity. It's, it's five and three, so. right? Yep. By putting your sticky up there, it's your commitment. Right now, you're you're committing to yourself. But a lot of times, you're doing this with subcontractors too. So that's when it gets a little more dangerous. If you take the painter stickers and the steel guy stickers and you're moving them all around, and then he's like, "All right, whatever, that's your plan." And that's not what I that's not what I, what I said I was going to do. So you got to be careful about that. Again, we're announcing what we're doing. Hey, I'm I'm stripping the overhangs. It's eight days, I got a six month crew, I need safety. I'm making a declaration of what I need. I need safety. So I'm calling safety up. So it says, okay, I'm doing safety. I'm doing safety. For the last five days, I need strip edge form. Okay, so that asked for, you just went up, you saw it coming, so you just did it. You're, so go ahead, follow the rules. You gotta announce what you're doing and what you need from somebody else. I'm gonna trip and form. I think it one day, full guy. Yeah, it's dying. 
the spray chip. Okay, you still need the survey, right? That's your main need. Or what, just, just look at this activity. What do you need to do that? What do you need to do your bulk in? Survey. Okay, so leave survey on there. Is there any reason these two things can't go on at the same time? Why does this have to precede this? Why does the parapet rebar have to precede and install the safety line? Me, they go on at the same time. That that's absolutely that's the way it's shown as predecessor successor. Right. The way it's sticky right now. Who if you if, you, if you think they're in parallel. Hey man, you can't touch my sticky. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 